welcome back to our youtube channel statisticians hub today we will be discussing weibull distribution in ms excel so let us first understand what is weibull distribution i will give a brief about it so weibull distribution is a continuous probability distribution as there are many probability distributions which are working and weibull distribution is one of those so weibull distribution is also known as type 3 extreme value distribution and for the application part it models a broad range of random variables largely in the nature of a time to failure or time between events distribution moving forward here we have the pdf and cdf that is the probability density function and the cumulative distribution function so this is the respective pdf of the weibull distribution f of x is equal to k upon lambda into x upon lambda whole to the power k minus 1 into e to the power minus x upon lambda whole to the power k here lambda and k are the shape and scale parameters respectively and this is the respective cumulative distribution function or cdf of the weibull distribution which implies 1 minus e to the power minus x minus lambda whole to the power k where x ranges greater than 0 that is greater than equal to 0 so now let us move into the excel so now as we see here we have shape vector here 2.1 and scale vector is 8.5 that is the distribution parameters that is lambda and k the shape as well as scale here we have considered the shape as 2.1 and scale as 8.5 you can consider it as per your requirement here i have a synthetic data say 0 0.5 1.5 2.5 up to 25.5 so if we need to calculate the probability density function we are supposed to give the command as variable dot dist first bracket we are giving the corresponding x value comma here it is asking for alpha that is the shape factor it is asking for beta that is the scale factor comma the cumulative part that is if we give true it will give us the or it will return us the cumulative distribution function whereas if we give false it will give us or return the value of the probability density function we type false here and click on enter here we have seen that the density function the calculated density function for the corresponding x value is calculated similarly if we write here variable dot list and within brackets the corresponding x value comma the alpha that is the shape factor comma the beta that is the scale factor comma under cumulative system we type and click on enter then we can see that the cumulative distribution function value that is the cdf value is calculated for the corresponding x now we fix the values of the parameters by assigning dollar into the formula bar click on enter now we just click and drag you can see that all the values for all the corresponding axes has been generated similarly for this also we fix the values of the parameters by assigning dollar and now if we click on plus and drag all the values of the cumulative distribution function has been computed now we will see the pattern that is a graph for the PDF, you can see that it is positively skewed. This is the pattern. Similarly, if we want the graph of the CDF, you can see that here. You can see that the pattern of the CDF it goes from zero to one. So this is how we will calculate or we will fit variable distribution into a data set or check the pattern from the 
PDF and CDF. So thank you for watching the video. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.